The revolution counters get out of calibration whenever the robot arm is moved with the power off. This may occur when tooling is changed or if somebody manually moves a robot after a jam up. It will also occur when the battery is replaced when the power is off. If the revolution counters are thrown off, there is no alarm displayed in the operator screen. However, some of the symptoms are that the operator will not have cycle start, they will not be able to get mass to start, and the motor's on button will not light up. When plugged in, an error message will appear on the flux pendant as shown here. Press the acknowledge button in the lower right corner. From the drop down menu in the top left, select log off default user and yes when prompted. Select GED from the drop down menu and press the keyboard button to enter the password. Press OK, then log in. From the drop down menu, select Jogging. Another error message will state that the rev counters are lost. Press the OK button. You'll notice Rob1 axes values are in red, meaning they're lost. The values would be in black if the rev counters were up to date. In this case, axes 4, 5, and 6 are off and need updated. Toggle the motion mode to axes 4, 5, and 6 and lightly press and hold the dead man switch. Move the joystick according to the direction shown in the lower right of the flux pendant. Left and right moves axis 4. Up and down moves axis 5. And rotating clockwise and counterclockwise moves axis 6. Again, lightly press and hold the dead man switch and move each axis to 0. Toggle the increments button for finer adjustment. The value should be zero within plus or minus 0.2, but the closer the better. Once all axes are at zero, select the calibration option from the drop down menu. You will notice that the Rob1 revolution counters are not updated. Select the robot that is out, in this case Rob1, and choose Update Revolution Counters. Press Yes on the pop-up warning to proceed. Again, select the robot that needs updated and press OK. Select all axes, Update, and Update on the pop-up warning. Press OK to acknowledge they have been successfully updated and go back to the jogging screen. Notice that the axis position values are updated and the numbers have changed from red to black. Verify the witness marks for all six axes. If someone has updated the rev counters without jogging to zero, the witness marks will not line up and all programming will be off. If this is the case and the witness marks are off, Jog each axis to its witness marks, rather than to zero, and update all axes again. Move to the calibration position and verify the witness marks are still aligned. When in the calibration position, the robotic joints will be at 90 degree angles, as shown here on Robot 2.